We are at the Berquitlam Community Organic Gardens at the corner of Whiting Way and Ebert Avenue in Coquitlam. The Berquitlam Community Organic Garden Society was formed to operate and maintain the gardens in a working relationship with the city of Coquitlam. It was just a couple of empty lots. It was uh, kind of a dump site. So it wasn't particularly attractive to, uh, to the neighborhood. When we looked for properties in the area, uh, Mrs. Bernice Booth came across this property and thought it was a great, a great place. It is a nice um, corner for the residential neighborhood. And it is a place where people can mix, bring their children, have the outdoors. Uh, just because you're in an apartment shouldn't mean you can't garden. So that was a lot of the thoughts behind what I was hoping to accomplish. The, uh, the goal that I had in mind when we began this project was to, uh, to really to design and build a, a garden that, uh, that the community could call their own. We have 68 garden plots that we lease to individuals for one year. The gardeners here grow everything from beans to watermelon. And we have a strict rules and regulations on um, the use of organic fertilizers only. Uh, and we encourage compost and manures. One of the biggest challenges in the community gardens was to get uh, people to use the compost and educate them on composting. It's a big part of community organic gardens. And with the city of Coquitlam's help and GVRDs for the signs in the wood, we have designed and built our own compost and the microorganisms break down uh, the plant material into a usable product, an organic fertilizer, if you will. Another challenge is uh, trying to get people to use rainwater. And these are our four rain barrels. They're 110 gallons each, and they're fed from the uh, gutters of the 16 by 16 building. And we promote using rainwater as it conserves the water that uh, we're in short supply of through our water system, and it's also not chlorinated trying to educate people that chemical fertilizers aren't necessary to get a good product. People use herbicides way too much and inevitably it gets into our water system. To address the water needs that's, that's on the site, we have uh, put in every, every 25 feet, within 25 feet we have um, uh, a small hydrant as we call it. And these are self-draining so they're year-round available water to the gardeners and accessible with persons with disability by an action, a lever action. We do like to work uh, with the community. Uh, uh, we very much have uh, a community development philosophy and, and um, believe that, they're, that the community is a tremendous resource. Another part of organic gardening is pollinating. And with the loss of honeybee population that we've had in recent years, we at the gardens have started uh, using mason bees. And the mason bees are solitary bees that are doing our pollinating for us. As the solitary, solitary bee pollinates, it's bringing pollen back for its larva that's in the nest. Once the uh, larva is in with enough pollen, they seal it off with a um, piece of mud. And then they go to the next chamber and do the same. The bees then go into a, a pupa stage and into a, a cocoon. The society last year voted to allocate four of our plots to the food bank, to growing food for the food bank. And the plot behind me that you see is growing potatoes for the food bank. In this plot, we have spinach. Uh, the next plot next to it, everything from Swiss chard, spinach, and peas. Uh, we plant leeks. Uh, beans and potatoes as their heavy producers. We are having at ages from 12 to 84 work together, work alongside each other. A lot are seniors because they have the time to get out during the day. They can get out and meet their neighbors in the community. And they're passing garden tips around, food cooking ideas between cultures. So we are getting a lot of cross-cultural uh, experiences. So they've got waiting lists now, I guess, for, for people to to sign up for the plots. Uh, so it, it's been very successful, really. We're very pleased with the results.